Hi everyone! A while back I went to the Bucky's store, hence the Bucky's blanket, and I wasn't such a fan of this print that they came out with this year, the Hey Boo. And that got me thinking, I'm like, let me look through previous years of Bucky's and see if there's any print I like, whether it's for Christmas or Halloween. Needless to say, I found one of each holiday. So I bought them and I figured I'd open them up with you. As well as I'm gonna show you the holiday shirts I already have. I have two Christmas ready and two Halloween. So this will bump them up to three and three each. So eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Let's do this one, I don't know. All right, it looks like we are starting off with Halloween. This is more, oof, oof. I bought this off eBay and I've never had an issue buying things off eBay before, but this got a smell to it, guys. <laughs> it smells like someone's crusty closet, basement. I don't know. It doesn't smell great. It smells like it was worn and then never washed afterwards, which I'm just going to wash it. It looks brand new. That's okay. But that's the first thing that hit me when I opened up that package. Jeez Louise, eBay. I won't dock them a star for that. I still give them five star reviews. It is what it is. It has a smell. I'll wash it. Some people have smells to them. This is more my jam classic it's spooky we got hauntedness in the background going across haunted house pumpkins bats bucky as a ghost and if i'm not mistaken i do believe this lights up looking at it up close yeah the quality is really good i mean i've had some bucky shirts that i've had for a while and needless to say after you put them through the dryer a bunch of times they the print starts cracking it just gets old and then on the back it says let's boo this which i can handle that saying rather than hey boo i don't know why i just don't like hey boo i like let's boo this i especially like though that we have bucky in all his costumes on here my other halloween shirt also has this but it's not every year that they do that i love the orange to yellow ombre outlining the font i like the vibe of this this is like classic halloween our stinky shirt we can see bucky's lights up as well as the border so that's how that one looks ghost bucky's all glowed up that is what glows on this t-shirt pretty darn cool both shirts i think only paid at max 14 dollars shipped which for Bucky's isn't bad at all because one, it's a previous year, so you can't just go into the store and get it. Two, I think the normal sizes that aren't like a 2X and everything, I think they're usually around 15 bucks. I think with inflation, they might have gone up to like 17 nowadays. I'll have to look and put it on the screen. I give it a 10 out of 10, stank and all. All right, moving on to Christmas. Please don't smell, please don't smell. This is also like a worn one situation. I can already tell you that this is not my favorite Christmas print because I already own my favorite Christmas print, which, if you guys have seen my Bucky's video, I think it was from last year. That's how you'll know what's my favorite. But nevertheless, I still saw this and I thought the print itself was really cute. Ah, see, we're stepping up. We're stepping it up. We got it in packaging. They got the little business stuff over here. How cute is that? Oh, it's adorable. The two reasons why I super love this is one, I love the classic like sweater quilt vibe we got going in the background. But I feel like this reminds me of Groundhog Day and I love that Christmas movie. I mean, is it a Christmas movie? I have no idea. It's a Groundhog Day movie, but it gives me that vibe. I love it. I know he's like a beaver, not a groundhog, but cousins, right? Who knows? Oof, this also has a smell too. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. Oh my goodness. Everything just smells like musty closet. So you t-shirts will definitely be going in my wash ASAP. Here's a close up of it so you can see there's no cracking that I can tell. Um, I forgot what year this is from too, so you can only assume the longer it sits, maybe the older it looks, I don't know. But turning it to the back, it says worth melting for. It's so cheesy, but again, just because it's in this like stitching, quilt stitching, whatever you want to call it, I love it. I love it so much. 10 out of 10, adorable, cute, such a fan of Bucky's. Now let me show you the ones that I already have. Starting with Mummy Bucky. Here he is in all his glory. See, I'm more comfortable. I'll put one of these shirts on so you guys can see how the fit is. I don't want to put those other shirts on before I get a chance to wash them. But even though I've worn this definitely more than once, it's in good condition in my opinion. Like it hasn't started cracking yet like some of my other shirts. And then, oh yeah, so you know it has started cracking right there and there. So it says Boo Crew. Again, we have him in all his different costumes. This is newer than the one I previously showed you, so I'm assuming maybe that costume came out after the other t-shirt did. But I just love it. This way to Bucky's. Boo Crew kind of reminds me of that one Disney Spirit jersey too. I love it. Oh, it's so adorable. So for this one, it looks like the bats and the moon behind Bucky. Those are the glow in the dark features. You can definitely tell I wore this one the most because the glow features aren't as prominent as the other t-shirt. But yeah, so the windows light up. The outline of the words light up. 
at one point or another the moon lights up but it takes a lot of charging for it to light up now but it does light up i'm assuming this bucky's board lights up it's just not taking my flashlight as well as the other t-shirts were like i have to really hold my flashlight onto it to see what lights up i don't believe any of the characters will light up in this one give or take moon sign Haunted House and Outline. Those are the ones that light up. The ghosts won't light up either. And another Halloween, we got jack-o'-lanterns. I love the whole purple, green, orange vibe they got going on here. That's how you know it's mine because there's still dog hair on it. It's my glitter. It's my glitter. All these I did buy new at Bucky's, so they were whatever the retail price was at that time. Fun fact, TikTok, I've seen more Bucky's popping up now, like people doing lives on TikTok to sell Bucky's merch. So obviously they add a fee to it, but for anyone who can't access Bucky's, I guess it's a really good thing. You can now buy Bucky's through the live seller. I don't know. I feel like you can buy Bucky's anywhere. You can just Google buy Bucky's merchandise and websites will pop up, but I have seen it going on TikTok now. This is another one. I wasn't crazy about the saying, like, if you've got it, haunt it. Rather it say like, haunt you later, something like that. But yeah, if you've got it, haunt it. Up here is a little clock with Bucky's face on it. This is what lights up to the front. So that's a chunk of it in the front that glows in the dark. I'm not mad about that. So it looks like haunt it lights up, the bats light up, he lights up. It just, my flashlight isn't great. So you can see Bucky lights up. So the time on the clock lights up, the window lights up, the bats and surrounding border lights up. So that's cool. This is how the shirt fits. So you can see it's lightweight, but it's also form fitting and it's super comfortable. It's soft. I'm a fan of how Bucky's t-shirts fits and feels. Of course, if you want an oversized look, you can get a bigger size t-shirt. This is a size small. I don't know. I love it. So it's a good way I set this up because my favorite is the last. So we're saving the best for last. For Bucky in his little Santa hat. We got a nice little winter scarf on our winter wreath. So, so adorable. I do really love the fit of their t-shirts. They are very comfortable and I like the length on it to how it fits. So never calm, always bright. Bucky is in his classic old Farmer Brown's truck. We got the Christmas tree and presents coming out of the back. Bucky's that way, another Bucky's that way. Amazing. And last but not least, for sure, my favorite. The front is on the more simple side, Bucky, Santa hat. We have this little plaid type background that he's got going to him. It kind of looks like he's in a Christmas ornament. That's like a missed opportunity. They definitely could have made that into a Christmas ornament. And the snowflakes, ta-da! It's gingerbread and I love gingerbread. So this obviously, that's why it's my favorite. We have this stinking cute gingerbread house within this Bucky snow globe. I love that they did each letter a different font. Again, this reminds me of something that Disney would do, like the Merry Christmas spirit jersey. It's just so whimsical and lighthearted and it just makes you merry. It, this is a merry t-shirt. If you ever ask me, this might as well be a little Debbie snack cake. I know it's just a Christmas cookie, but in my head, it could be that candy canes, lollipops, Christmas cookies, gingerbread men. This shirt, in my opinion, is perfection. So these, believe it or not, are all my holiday ones. I can't wait to see what they come out with next year. And my favorite, of course, is behind there. I just have to point it. It's not, it's not hidden, it's just there. Um, I definitely wanted to keep those away from my shirts just because they're the stinky stinky. I definitely don't need any more Bucky's t-shirts, but sometimes when you love something, you just have to support it and Pro Bucky's, Pro Bucky's. Let me know which ones that you've seen today are your favorite. I think out of the Halloween ones, oof. I think that one might be my favorite. If I'm being honest, the stinky one is my favorite. Well, thanks for hanging out with me today. If you want, feel free to like and subscribe. And until next time, bye friends.